Hello everybody, this is Ariella Yeager with Infusion and today I will be going over how to use our ROI report. So if you're in the dashboard, um, the first thing you'll want to do is go over here to analytics and click ROI report, which is the second one down. Now with the ROI report, it will automatically populate the most current report. So right now, because we're only halfway through January, it will pull up December's report. To change this, you simply click on the period and you can change that, but it will pull up the most current report for you. Now, as long as you have all of your integration set up and you have conversion data flowing, you will have a proper IOI report. If for some reason you're missing data, make sure that your conversion tracking is integrated, that your, all of your integrations are completely complete for Search Console, for analytics, for everything. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you do that first. But this will automatically populate on its own. Um, and let's start off with the purpose of the ROI report. And the purpose of this is to give you an understanding of not only where your business is at in terms of all these different things like ROI, conversions, traffic, but it's also to help your business show progress. So that way you're able to see this report month over month and you're able to set goals based on where you're at currently. One thing we always tell our clients is you cannot set goals unless you know where you're at now. So a great example of this is for conversions. So we know that in December we had 229 conversions. So maybe our January goals should have a conversion goal of increasing our conversions by 20%. Now we don't just want to say in our goals, I want to increase conversions by 20%. We need to understand what that means. Well, that means that we need 20% more conversions than 229. You need to actually put that data point down and understand that this is the number of conversions I need to reach in order to reach that goal. And so that's why we have this report here. Um, and to start off, we have ROI at the top. And while I'm going through this entire training video, you wanna think about this as almost like a funnel. At the focus of everything we do, we focus on ROI because we wanna make sure that our customers are getting the most return on their investment that they possibly can. So that's why we start off with ROI. So here we have ROI and we have the cost, so how much you pay, and then we have the revenue. And this really comes from our total number of conversions. But based on how much you pay and how much revenue came in during that month, we have our ROI. So a great example is this um, customer has a 34 times return on investment from using our tool. Now we can go to conversions. We had, it shows the number of forms, the number of calls, the values of those, and that's another reason why it's so important to understand the value of your customer. If you don't put values in um, for each customer, so in conversion tracking, if you're not putting in a value for each form, for calls, if you're not understanding how much each call is worth to you, it's very hard to understand if this is working and what the ROI is. So that's why it's really important if you haven't yet, you need to make sure that you have an, um, a value for your customer. And it shows the total number of conversions. So again, we have this um, number of how much value all of our conversions are that go here to revenue. Moving on to organic traffic, it shows all of our visits, our average time on site, bounce rate, again, these forms, so 173 and 56, and our total number of conversions. Um, and one thing that I forgot to point out that I want to make sure is understood is this ROI report is specifically for organic traffic. So that's all there is to it. So this report is specifically organic traffic only. It doesn't include paid. It doesn't include referrals or direct. It's only organic. Moving down to click-through rate, it shows the total number of clicks you received out of the number of impressions. It gives you an average click-through rate and your average position. And then we have these search terms. So um, 
it shows you the search terms and what they ran to. So for instance, this search term gave us the most amount of clicks. So maybe making sure that we understand that that is a primary keyword and that we have an active campaign on that keyword would be really helpful. It also shows you what keyword is getting the most impressions, the click through rate, and then the position. So for instance, um, this one is getting a very high click through rate, but we also have this one with another high click through rate. So maybe we should be looking at that keyword a little more closely and then the position of those. We then have our click through rate pages. So what pages are giving us the highest click through rate that lead to conversions? So it will list those pages as well. So this page had the um, highest number of clicks and its position, its impressions, its click-through rate. So understanding all of that as well. So we see this page has the highest click-through rate. Um, it doesn't have the most clicks or impressions, but maybe that's something to be thinking about. Why does this have the highest click-through rate and how can we apply that to pages that are getting really high impressions, that are getting a lot of clicks? And that will all lead to a higher conversion rate. Lastly, we have your ranks. So your visibility score the total number of keywords that you have, your average rank um, of, that key, of those keywords, you're um, in the top 10 on the first page, you have 62 keywords on the top page. On the top three, there's 20 keywords, and in first place, we have five keywords that are ranking in the first place. And then and we have task manager. Now, right now, this shows zero, but on yours, it will show the complete number of tasks that you have, that are open, not started, in progress. So that way you can see really everything. And to get, dig a little bit more into why this matters so much, and so if we have an ROI of 34, per, of 34, maybe we wanna increase that ROI to 40. In order to do that, we have to go through all of these and figure out where we need to improve and what that data point is and set those goals. And once you understand what things will lead to that, then we can focus in on the tasks that will lead us to higher ROI. And this data will tell us exactly how to do that. So you're not just having to sit there and guess, what do I need to do this month in order to make more money? It's following the data in our ROI report that will exactly lead you to where you need to go. So that is the full overview of the ROI report. The last thing I'll show you is you can download the ROI report here. Um, so this will give you an entire PDF of the um, report, which is great for you to have. So if you need to download that, you can. Um, if you have any questions or issues with the ROI report, make sure that you let us know and we can help you with that. Thank you so much.